He was my uncle. My mom always talked <clears throat> with reverence about Emil and, and what a wonderful man he was uh, and what a tough person he was. You didn't mess with Emil. And she just lights up when she talks about what a wonderful dancer he was. Emil married my mom's sister, her oldest sister, Marie Watkins. And uh, mom had another sister and two brothers. They were very close and I grew up after the war with uh, stories about stories about Emil Patuchak. Was uh, the son of one of the Czech immigrants here in the, in the Malin area that settled in uh, 1909 and attended Malin High School where he was, a big, he was a big, one of the big uh, stars on the football team and, and uh, track team. And uh, just learned this morning he's quite, the, quite a dancer as well. He graduated from high school. He actually had a farm here. Again, something I learned today uh, out on Demerit Road. Him and his wife, and he ran a restaurant here in Milan. And, and uh, according to his nephew, he just always wanted to uh, to fly in the war, and so uh, joined the Air Corps and worked his way up through, and finally got his his wings and and flew in in, in the European theater. Uh, so he flew uh, eight missions, and uh, so on his eighth mission, uh, there. They were uh, shot down over uh, over Nazi occupied Europe, and uh, he was he was killed in the crash. And there were uh, two uh, two survivors. There was actually three survivors of the crash, and then one died a couple days later in a, in a concentrated in a, a Nazi uh, prisoner of war camp. And that was actually misreported as as being Emil for a long time, but he actually died in the, in the crash itself. Posthumously, Emil received the uh, Air Medal uh, with the Oak Leaf Cluster and, and a Purple Heart. A few years back, a, a family member uh, donated a, uh, a hat, one of uh, Amel's uh, flying hats. And I originally thought it was a B-17 hat, but it was actually from one of his earlier aircraft uh, that he uh, had uh, flown during training. Apparently, the Coos County Sheriff posted something on Facebook, and it uh, created a lot of chatter and, and a lot of content. And uh, I was headed out of town uh, on Friday. And uh, I got a call from uh, Kay Newmeyer here at Moline Chamber of Commerce. She'd been contacted by the sheriff, but then he contacted me, and then I was contacted by a reporter in Coos Bay and a reporter in Medford. They were contacting me that they had a Purple Heart that had been in uh, Coos Bay for two years that uh, belonged to Emil, and they were trying to contact family so it could get back to where it belonged. I just know that uh, from talking to my mom, who was 94, uh, what he had received prior did not include a, a Purple Heart and, and how it came about that it showed up in Coos Bay. Probably uh, Marie's second husband, uh, she and Dick uh, lived in uh, Coquille uh, in their later years and uh, somebody must have located them there and sent, sent it to uh, the Coos County Sheriff's Office. You know, it put a smile on my face when, when I got the call from the sheriff and he talked to me, but also a deep sadness because the dedication and the sacrifices at that time during World War II were made by the whole country and everybody. And, uh, one of the reasons that we're standing here enjoying the life that we have is because of them. Uh, it just brings back a lot of memories from when I was a kid when the families got together because the war was still very close to heart. And uh, I know my son and daughter, I've talked to both of them, and the plan is to put the Purple Heart on loan to Ryan here at the Malin Museum and then at a later time when they would like to have it, it would be there for them.